Welcome to my new little series that is just going to have six episodes and in this series we are going to talk about how to create tiled maps, how to render them, how to get specific tiles at a specific location, um, getting the properties of such tiles and even properties of the map and of the layers, uh, create, putting animated tiles in your game which cannot be done in the editor, we have to do this programmatically, and in the add object layers so we can even create our own whatever objects in this map. So yeah, let's actually start today with how to create such a tiled map. And many of you might already know this and there was the, it is the reason why we are pretty much watching this. But for those who don't know, there is this map editor here and it's called Tiled. So Tiled actually is the pretty much most important, uh, most popular map editor out there. And that has a reason. It's because well, it's, it's simple to use. It's nice. <laughs> I just, I just have to say that this is probably the best map editor that I've come across, and this is the map editor that you want. So you click on download, and well, then you downloaded this, and then you installed it, and that's already not complicated. Um, once you installed it, you just go and open it up. And this is some other map. Alright, so let's create a new map. There's a bunch of maps that we can create. The first one is orthogonal. And orthogonal maps look just like this. Like in, for example, Pokemon for the old Game Boys, you also have an orthogonal map. Um, yeah, it's just displaying them in a grid, pretty much. Then there is the isometric map, and this is also pretty much the same, just that it's like an orthogonal map, but rotated around 45 degrees. Um, this gives you, if you have the correct tile set, uh, some nice 3D effect. Of course, it's not 3D, but it gives you the effect. And you can create games that are a little bit better looking with this. And then there are staggered isometric maps. And they are like an orthogonal map, but just isometric. <laughs> um, well, you see how what these are. It's just these rotated tiles, but not the whole map being rotated. So, okay, for simplicity we are just going to start off and create an orthogonal tile map. It's going to have a width and height of 50 tiles, we don't care, and the tile size of each tile is going to be 16 times 16 pixels. So what 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 is going on right here? Um, at first we have this layers here and we see that there is a tile layer we could delete it and well this stays but we could for example make another tile layer and one more tile layer and we can create object layers we can even create image layers but that's too hardcore for now um, all we're going to do in this episode is we are going to create one tile layer so there is a bunch of stuff that we can do it's got all kinds of tools but we just want to create a really basic map. We are not going to care about terrain and everything uh, or anything. I think there's a bunch of ways that you can learn about these things. Um, the first thing that we need is a tile set. So pretty much the tiles that we want to display. Um, let's get one from this image right here. And that's just the image from the Pokemon series actually. And yeah, I think from Pokemon blue or yellow edition, who cares. Um, you need to specify how wide and how tall these tiles are and also a margin and spacing between them and the drawing offset. So this is actually all one pixel for us. Uh, then we got this tile map loaded here and we see that it's greatly separated into the specific tiles and we're just gonna grab some grass select the fill tool and fill everything with it. Then we get the stamp tool again and can get for example this here. We can mark the whole area and just put it in the game. Then we can right click on some tile on the map and yeah draw it. We can also right click and select a an region and draw that somewhere else. Then we can right click on this one here and draw this over there 
right click on this one and we already got some something whatever set up let's make this a little bit taller great on this thing we can put uh, also something or a cage actually let's put a cage down there just because we can totally doesn't fit in um, there's also a table standing in the wild and a nice little house like right there great this already looks totally awesome also there's some grass around because this is nature and this looks totally natural fine so we got the map um... okay let's actually save this map as map.tmx we don't care about the map here just overwrite this one um... okay this has been just six minutes but who cares we can actually create another tile layer and on that layer we can put the same stuff but it's on a different layer so we can disable this and we can also choose which layers to render and if yeah actually if we render all layers or if just some layers uh, we can choose that in code so whatever your game needs you can think of this as some kind of feature for example if you are in I don't know drug mode you enable one more layer and the world looks different um, but we just need one layer like I said so yeah this is pretty much how to create a tile map with a map editor and yeah it's it's really simple there's also this terrains and whatever but this is actually not a tile map editor tutorial it's a tutorial about how to use them in code so this is it for the first uh, episode and in the next episode we're going to render this in well in your game um, thanks for watching and see you then